Consider a solid sphere of radius r floating in a pond with half of the sphere submerged. The sphere is pushed vertically downwards at the topmost point and released such that it executes a simple harmonic motion. Acceleration due to gravity is g. What is the time period of oscillation? 2 pi root 2 r by 3 g, 2 pi root r by g, 2 pi root 3 r by 2 g, 2 pi root 2 r by g. Another simple problem. Okay, now see other thing is, in this case it is only one force that is acting on that solid sphere which is serving as the restoring force and therefore and it is a linear motion and therefore we will not go for the energy approach we will stick to our free body diagram and differential equation approach in the very first problem that we solved today we had that disc which was rolling without slipping with two springs there we prefer the energy approach because that is more easy uh, that is more i would say that is simpler Okay, or less time. Okay, so you have to take a decision time pe lena hai ki kya main free body diagram nikal ke, differential equation likh ke, natural frequency nikal hoonga ya a total energy ka expression likh ke, uske baad uh, natural frequency nikal hoonga. At the end, you have to take a differential equation hi milega. Okay, so here we will try to take a look at differential equation likhne ki using the restoring force approach. Okay? So, first of all, we will visualize the equilibrium situation. What is the equilibrium situation? Suppose this is a sphere. Okay, suppose this is the sphere. Which is half submerged in water. So, this is in water. Or whatever liquid does. Okay. And now what we are going to do is we are going to push it a bit downwards. What is it? Okay, let's say we push it so that its center shifts by an amount x. Like this. Okay? Something like that. Now, first of all, why would it start executing simple harmonic motion? Reason, buoyant force. Sir, would it be due to buoyant force? Yeah, exactly. Force? The buoyant force is going to act as a restoring force because there is an additional volume submerged. And if this is equal to x, the additional submerged volume mean or would mean a net upward force because the weight is already balanced okay and what will be its magnitude its magnitude would be now see once again we are going to assume that uh, the submerged part above the hemisphere is like a disc. I know it's not a disc because strictly speaking, this is the straight line for a disc and for a sphere, it's kind of inclined, okay, curved. But we will ignore that and we will say that the disc is submerged. Hai. So disc is like a cylinder. Right? Disc is Sir, like a cylinder. in the earlier case, when it was half submerged, it was not uh, simple harmonic motion was not executed because uh, the buoyant force was being uh, balanced by gravitational force. Gravitational force was being balanced by buoyant force. Okay. Okay, sir. Hmm. Fb is equal to this additional Fb part. Okay. Volume. So it's uh, area into this. Okay, this is a submerged volume. Submerged volume. Let's say the liquid's density is rho two and this density is rho one. So, ये rho two हो जाएगा on this. This is the uh, restoring force. Okay. 
okay now uh what will be okay see we have got the differential equation actually agar aap logo ne magnitude wise likha to jab ye niche hai tab force upar act hota jab ye point upar hai to force niche act hota to isko hum aise negative sign yahan pe de sakte so when x is positive fp is negative and when x is negative fp is positive okay now we can say okay let let's let's do it so ma plus pi r squared x oh wait a second this should be g my bad the acceleration due to gravity ho gaya uh, volume density mass ho gaya into g okay so ma plus pi r squared x rho 2 g equal to 0 and you get the differential equation so you can directly say that my natural frequency is root k by m तो के हो गया आपका पाए आर स्क्वायर रो टू जी और एम आपका प्रेजेंट बट दिस इज सी नो वेर इन द ऑप्शन वाई बिकॉज इन द ऑप्शन दे डोंट सीम टू केयर अबाउट द डेंसिटीज ओके बट वी कैन डेफिनेटली फाइंड द डेंसिटी रो टू ओके आर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन रो टू एंड वन बाई यूजिंग द कंडीशन दैट वेन हाफ ऑफ द स्वियर इज सबमर्स द वेट इज एंटायरली बैलेंस्ड बाय द बाइट फोर्स ठीक है तो उसके लिए हम लोगों को अलग से फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम बनाना पड़ेगा या फिर वहीं पे कर सकते हैं क्या लिख सकते हैं हम वेट इक्वल्स बाय ऑन फोर्स ओके नॉट इज वेट फोर बाय थ्री बाय आर क्यूब रो वन जी इक्वल टू अभी बाय ऑन फोर्स कितना है हाफ है वॉल्यूम हाफ है उसका तो हाफ 4 बाय थ्री पाए आर क्यूब रो टू जी रेज योर हैंड्स इफ यू अंडरस्टूड दैट पार्ट एवरीबडी अंडरस्टूड दैट ओके वेरी गुड तो अभी हम लोग क्या डेंसिटीज का रिलेशन निकाल सकते हैं क्या निकाल सकते हैं कैसे हाँ सर वाई इज इट हाफ बिकॉज द सबमर्ज वॉल्यूम इज हाफ ओके सर ओके फोर बाय थ्री फोर बाय थ्री पाए पाए आर क्यूब आर क्यूब जी जी सो द इफेक्टिव रिलेशन इज रो वन इज रो टू बाय टू एंड यू एक्सपेक्ट द लिक्विड टू बी डेंसर दैन द स्फीयर स्फीयर मटेरियल बिकॉज अदरवाइज द स्फीयर वुड सिंक एंटायरली एंड स्टार्ट ट्रेवलिंग करेक्ट इफ इट इज नॉट इफ द फ्लूड इज नॉट डेंस इनफ टू सपोर्ट द वेट ठीक है तो रो वन इज इक्वल टू रो टू बाई टू या फिर रो टू इक्वल टू टू रो ठीक है तो हम उस रिलेशन को यहां पे यूज करेंगे कंटिन्यू विद दिस की पाए आर स्क्वायर रिप्लेस रो टू बाय टू रो वन जी और यहां एम क्या लिखेंगे दिस इज मास ऑफ द स्पेयर फोर बाय थ्री पाए आर क्यूब रो वन वॉल्यूम इंटू डेंसिटी नाउ यू रियलाइज ओके रोवन इज गेटिंग कैंसल्ड दैट वॉज द मेन हर्डल दैट वी हैड पाए एंड पाए दे आर गेटिंग कैंसल्ड ओके आर स्क्वाड वॉज देर इट विल एंटायरली गो लिविंग यू आर इन द डिनोमिनेटर ओके सो वॉट विल बी ओमेगा इन साइड द रूट टू जी बाय फोर बाय थ्री आर तो ये थ्री को ऊपर लेके जा वो हो जाएगा थ्री इंटू टू सिक्स सिक्स बाय फोर इज थ्री बाय टू सो इट विल बी थ्री जी बाय टू ओके इट विल बी थ्री जी बाय टू आर एंड जस्ट कन्वर्टेड टू टाइम टाइम पीरियड इज टू बाय बाय ओमेगा सो इट विल बी टू बाय अंडर रूट टू आर बाय थ्री जी this option is that clear yes sir so yes sir. I, yeah so the thing that i would like you people to understand is in this iser aptitude test level questions things are different from what we usually do at the board levels but at the same time they are also not too difficult like the je advanced 
somewhere in between this exam is situated it could good for us because it's not too difficult lekin aapko alag alag situations mein uh, aap, aapke jo concepts hai wo apply karna aana chahiye 